Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Commander 64 here with another Elite Dangerous related video. And we are finally going to be getting on with that button box. So stick around. So, I have been promising this for a long time, both to you and to myself, but we are going to get on with the button box. Before I do that, I just want to thank you for clicking on the thumbnail and watching this video. I really appreciate all the views, um, likes, subscriptions and all that. really helps the channel to keep going, so I do appreciate that. Um, and if you've been here before, thanks very much for coming back. If you've not been here before, I do retro gaming and Elite Dangerous related content, and I kind of switch between one and the other. Uh, so yes, I've been building a button. I've been building a, a cockpit to play Elite Dangerous in, just to play it a bit more comfortably. I, when I started playing the game, I was hunched over a desk with this um, cheap Hotus set, which I've still got. Does me okay. But I wanted something a bit more comfortable, so you can see I've got this chair here, I've got these armrests, and um, we've been building it up over the course of a year. And now it's time to do a big push button box, uh, just to make it feel and look even cooler. First thing I want to do is to go into the options on the game and into the controls. And obviously we've got a whole bunch of controls here, and I need to decide which of those controls I want to be a button, which of those controls I want to be a switch, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these controls, every single one, and, uh, and write them all down on a piece of paper, and try to lump them into four or five different categories. Obviously they're already split up into different categories on here, but there's way there's a lot of categories uh, and I don't want to have 15 different panels with buttons on it so I just want to have all the flight controls all the SRV controls all the camera controls and some you know and all the weapon controls something like that so let's start writing all of these down and I will see you when that's done start with the flight Okay, so I've got my list written down here. I've got every single control in the game, which is a lot of controls, actually. And I have even written down in colour how important they are to me. So um, I've written in red, that's quite important. In yellow, less important. And blue, not important at all. The other thing that I've done is that some of these buttons, and this will be useful when, I'm, when choosing which buttons I'm going to use. If I can come down to... Ah, here we go. Um, some of these buttons, for example the handbrake, they've got this little plus symbol there. Now if we click that, you have a button mode. Hold the button down, or toggle the button. Now I've got mine set to hold because there are certain buttons, say you have a switch, if you switch that down, that's one push. And it doesn't matter if you switch it up or switch it down, that's just one push. There's others where you flick it to the on position and that is holding the button down, literally. And then when you flick it off, it let go, lets go of the button. So with the handbrake, I can have a hold button pretty simple really and uh, I'll flick that for the handbrake and that will constantly be on as if I was pushing that button down and then I can flick it off and the other ones they're called momentary switches which is, you just flick it once and that's just one this is if you click the button once so the, it was gonna basically act like a keyboard in front of me just a very fancy lighty up keyboard so what I'm gonna do next is buy the buttons. So let's go and find some buttons. I'm thinking eBay is the best place for me to start my search. 
So let's do that now. So this is the momentary switch, um, toggle switch. So every time this is flipped either way, it's like pushing the key one time. And they're gonna make the bulk of the cockpit. So I'm actually gonna buy three packs of 10. And that's gonna cost me 17 pound 85. Next, I found these rather nice um, light up square buttons. If I want the keyboard device to power them, it needs to be five volts. So you can see here, I've selected red, momentary. That means one push is one click. You can get locking ones as well, which is, it holds the button down. But I'm gonna go for momentary ones, five volts, and for red, so I need eight red ones, I think. So if I just pop in eight in the quantity there, and that will cost me 11 pounds for the red ones. And for yellow, I want 10, 12 yellow buttons. Let's get 12 of those, add those to the basket. That's 1660 in English money. Uh, blue, I want five, seven of these in blue. Actually, you know what, I think eight. Eight again, same as the red. Check in momentary and five volts are added so we're adding those to the basket and that's 11 pounds seven for those and that's it for the square push buttons i've also found these really nice round ones which i think that'd be nice to have like a nice big round push button that has that glow that we see here at the bottom and you can get different colors you can get a red one you can get a blue one, you can get a green, yellow, and white. Yep, so I will get six of the yellow. Limited five per buyer. Okay, let's get five then. Uh, add those to the basket, that'll be the antenna. When should we get blue? Let's get the blue ones. They look nice. They look really nice, actually. Let's get five of those as well, then. Add those to the basket. And then let's get just four on the red. Now, this is going to act as the keyboard. It Basically, that is a keyboard. This one here is a keyboard. And this one here is a control pad. And each of these keys, I can plug a button in using these cables. I'm guessing that these red and black ones will act as uh, the data input. And these blue ones will light up the little bulbs in the, the ones that have got light up bulbs. I'm assuming, could be completely wrong. Um, yeah, and you can see here, oh, there are some keys there as well. There's a QWERTY there. Well, not quite a QWERTY. Um, F1, Control, Alt, Shift. Okay, so it's not a controller then. Um, but maybe it's like a one-handed keyboard. And then you've got this one here. That That is a layout of a keyboard. You can see here your... Um, WASD in the blue there. So yes, I, I plug a wire into each of these and I plug a wire in um, the other end of the wire into a button. So we're gonna buy this, it costs us 28 pounds. So that gives me 88 possible keys, so plenty, more than I need. So we're gonna buy that. Here I've got the off on switches so when this is clicked to the on position it's like pushing the key 
and then when you click it to the off position, it's like letting go of the key. And there you can put these rubber bits on them for tactile things. I think that's more useful if you're doing a VR thing and you can feel the difference of the buttons in front of you. But I'm not going VR route, so I'm just probably not going to use those. But they're quite nice. I think I need um, four of those. Um, for the, the cargo hatch, um, the, where is it, where is it, uh, go. just going through my list here, uh, yes, cargo scoop, drive assist and handbrake, and also got a cargo scoop. Uh, two cargo skips, one for the ship and one for the SRV. So we're going to buy four of those. Ah, they come in packs of five, so we'll just buy one pack of five. This is seven pounds. <laughs> so the next thing I did after purchasing the buttons was to cut out a piece of paper that was the same size as the desk that I'm going to slightly extend beyond what it was before and then try to size up the buttons using the listing descriptions on the pages I bought the buttons from and cut them out and colored them up to what they will be and just place them on like you can see I'm doing there and sort of shuffled them about until it was something that I was happy with the way it looked and you can see in the middle there I've measured around the, the retro keyboard that I'm going to fit to the desk which you can watch by clicking the I at the top right there um, there's an episode for that and when I was happy I glued them into place and I have labeled the buttons up and I've little M's on the switches there to say that they're momentary uh, there, there's the F5 to F12 because I don't have those on the Commodore it only goes um, well it's weird the F switches are weird because you used to use a separate button to use them anyway so I've got F switches there and up down left right I don't have those either so I've labeled them up and you can see I've also subcategorized the buttons into camera system um, flight weapons SRV so I have a rough layout of how I want the buttons to be and that might be adjusted slightly when I receive the buttons and unbox them because I may have the sizes completely wrong. Those square buttons might be huge or they might be really tiny. So um, I'll make adjustments if I need to. So that's all the buttons bought and we've got our plan about how they are going to go so I will hopefully see you in the next video which will be unboxing all the buttons I hope um, that all depends on how quickly they are delivered because I think some of these are coming from overseas so if they're coming from overseas and we have to wait an awful long time then maybe I will do uh, the painting video because right now the desk that I'm sitting on is just bare MDF and I'm going to paint it up and make it look a bit nicer so if I don't see you for the unboxing one in the next video I will see you for the painting one and then we'll do the unboxings as they come in and then after the unboxings we'll do the assembly and then we'll play with it <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a great day. It's Command 64 signing off.